Hi, my schoolers. My name is Abiola. You are welcome to the My School channel where we are solving the Jam CBT past question for the subject chemistry the year 2016. Don't go anywhere. Stay with us because we'll be right back. You're welcome back to my school channel and in this particular clip we are solving questions 1 to 20. So join me as we tackle question 1. In an electrochemical cell, polarization is caused by what? So uh, if you want to know what polarization is, it's just um, changing the voltage okay, between the anode and the cathode so that you can reduce the rate of corrosion. You can have uh, activation polarization, you can have concentration polarization, you can have resistance polarization. So an example or important example of um, polarization is that of uh, hydrogen ion okay, at the cathode. So the correct option here from what I've just mentioned, hydrogen is option B, B for hydrogen. In an electrochemical cell, polarization is caused by hydrogen in option B. Two, the condition required for corrosion to take place is the presence of atmospheric oxygen and water. What we need carbon dioxide for and other gaseous pollutants like SO2 is just to make the uh, process okay faster. So, but the main compounds that we need, okay, um, or the main um, constituents that we need to make this happen, okay, it's the action of atmospheric oxygen and water. So, option B is the correct option. Question three. The enzyme used in the hydrolysis of starch to give you dextrin and maltose is what? Okay, the hydrolysis of starch, you can use um, dilute acid or you can use an enzyme, the enzyme amylase. This en enzyme is present in our saliva or is found in malt. Okay, so the correct option is option C. The enzyme used in the hydrolysis of starch to give you dextrin and maltose is amylase. Option C. Question 4. In the laboratory preparation of chlorine from concentrated hydrochloric acid in the presence of potassium tetraosomanganate 7, the product is dried by, by passing it through what? Okay, this is how you can dry it. Um, you have to let it pass through concentrated tetraososulfate 6, that is conch H2SO4 or conch sulfuric acid. So, the correct option is option A, by passing it through concentrated triosulfate 6 acid. Question 5. The monomer of nylon is what? Okay, uh, you talk about monomers. Those um, simple molecules that form, come together to form giant molecules, to form polymers. Okay, so I can say that the nylon in question here is nylon 66. And we should also know that nylon is a very good example of thermoplastics. You no know, thermoplastic, they can be softened, okay, repeatedly by heat and can be remolded. And also, nylon is um, gotten from the process of condensation uh, polymer or polymerization, wherever we want to put it. So, um, coming back to the question, the monomer for nylon, according to the context, context of um, options provided us, okay, so we can say that the monomers of nylon is hexane dioic acid and um, hexane one cis diamine, okay, so the correct option here is option B. Kindly remember that you can have a simulated jam CBT experience, all you just have to do, you click on the link in the description below, it takes you to the My School website where we have made it very easy for you so you can download the My School mobile app or get the My School software for just a token of 1000 Naira. So join me as we tackle question 6. The principle of column chromatography is based on the ability of the constituents to do what, okay? Paper chromatography, we are talking about two things. We are talking about absorption, okay, and dissolution. How well the paper absorbs these constituents and also, uh, also how well these constituents dissolve 
in the solvent okay so it is a solvent if if the constituent is well dissolved in the solvent okay it moves up faster alongside or along with the solvent in the column so the principle of column chromatography is based on the ability of the constituents to react with the solvent in the column that will determine the speed at which it moves up so option a is the correct option we believe these video contents are very helpful for you so all you just have to do for us and for yourself is to hit the like button always click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get informed as soon as we release the next videos question seven ammonium chloride can be separated from its mixture with common salt by what by sublimation okay because ammonium chloride can sublime can be sublimed not our common salt or sodium chloride okay so that is one process that we can use to separate the mixture of ammonium chloride and sodium chloride option d is the correct option number eight the ability of carbon to form long chains is referred to as catenation okay you know what catenation is uh, when you have an um, atom of the same element okay the way they come together that kind of bonding okay and they form a kind of series or chain that is catenation um alkylation option a that is transfer of acyl group okay from one molecule to the other acylation that is the adding of acyl group okay carbonation is the reaction of co2 to give you bicarbonate carbonic acid carbonate and what have you so the correct option here is option d the ability of carbon to form long chains is referred to as catenation question nine the industrial preparation of hydrogen gas from water gas is referred to as what it is referred to as botch process okay option b is for sulfuric acid ABA process that is for ammonia and the uh, bio process is for uh, getting alumina okay from bauxite so refining bauxite to get alumina so the correct option here is option a botch process question 10 the relative atomic mass of a naturally occurring lithium consists of what? Hydrogen, helium, lithium, atomic number three. So whatever you are saying here, they are the atomic number. So we are not dealing with that. So what we are dealing with is the atomic masses. So we have seven and six, 90% and 10%. So let's solve this. This is very easy to tackle. So we have 90 over 100, okay? isn't it then we have for the other one we have um 10 we have 10 percent okay then six remember i said those ones we have underneath they are their atomic numbers so for this we have okay seven times nine that is 63 63 divided by 10 that gives you 6.3 you had it up okay Zero strikes are zero. Six times one, six. Six divided by ten, that is zero point six. This gives you six point nine. That is the relative atomic mass of lit lithium, at least according to this question. So let's select the correct option. Option D, six point nine, is the relative atomic mass. Number eleven, the color of litmus in an alkali medium is what? Okay, so you should know this that an acid turns blue litmus paper red, okay, why an alkali, an alkaline, okay, an alkali or whatever you want to call it, turns red litmus paper blue. So if you are dipping a litmus, okay, red litmus, you are dipping it into an alkali medium, the color is going to change to its color blue. So the correct answer is option D. Question 12. The compound CH3, CH2, CHO and CH3, CO, CH3 can be distinguished from each other using what? Okay, at first you're able to identify these compounds as alkanals and alkanons, okay, ketones and aldehyde. Okay, so um, part of the reactions we use to distinguish these compounds from themselves is a um, reaction with felling solution, reaction with Tolerance reagent. So we have tolerance reagent here. So the correct option is option C, tolerance reagent. Number 13. Which of the following statements is true about two methylpropane and butane? These are actually they are actually um, isomers. Okay, isomers they have 
similar chemical properties and this also tells you that they are from the same homologous series so the correct option is option b they are members of the same homologous series alkanes question 14 the process that requires the use of hard water in its operation is what it is actually bottling because when you look at laundry um hmm, we know that hard water wastes a lot of soap that's why special kind of detergents are being manufactured okay to help solve this problem also in the dining industry as well it poses as a problem so the process that requires the use of hard water in its operation is the bottling process question 15 what is the concentration of a solution containing two grams of sodium hydroxide in 100 cm cube of solution okay so this is just the molar concentration equals mass concentration over molar mass and our mass concentration of course should be gram per dm cube but the gram we have here is in cm cube so if we have um to convert the cm cube to dm cube that would be times 10 of it so if we have two grams in 100 okay how many grams are we going to have in 1000 cm cube that would just be times 10 of 2 that is 20 grams okay so we can now see that sodium hydroxide okay this compound here the molar mass of this compound here will just be 23 we have just one atom of hydrogen that's 23 plus one atom of this that is 16 that gives you 39 plus one atom of hydrogen that gives you 40 so 23 plus 16 plus 1 that is 40 so remember i said molar concentration equals mass concentration okay over molar mass mass concentration now is gotten as 20 molar uh, of the molar mass now is gotten as 40 so 20 over 40 that is 1 over 2 and that is 0 0.5 mole per dm cube so the correct option is option c 0 0.50 mole per dm cube so remember that this is a formula on, this is a question on molar concentration which is equals to mass concentration over molar mass we've gotten the mass concentration as 20 the molar mass as 40 so simple option c is the correct option don't forget that you just have to click on the link in the description below okay you are going to reach the my school website where we have enough solution providers waiting to help you out so all you just have to do you click on the link ask your questions right now and within moments you get the answers that you need we are tackling question 16 the radioisotope used in industrial radiography for the rapid checking of faults in words and casting is what is actually cobalt 60 talk about carbon 14 for dating carbon dating so the correct option here is option b cobalt 60. going through our video clips you may like to give one or two contributions recommendations or suggestions or even explanations please we are very receptive all you just have to do use the comment section below indicate the question number and the suggestions or explanations you like to share 17 the compound produced when sodium peroxide is heated with excess sodium is what okay this uh, process you can also use an alternative when you burn sodium in limited air supply okay so the solid you are going to get is a colorless solid which has very strong basic property okay and um, this same compound we are talking about it reacts violently with water to give you an hydroxide solution then again this same compound we are talking about it reacts explosively with acid to give you salt and water so that compound we are talking about is sodium oxide option b sodium oxide the compound produced when sodium peroxide is heated with excess sodium is sodium oxide option b question 18 the pollutant that contributes to the depletion of the ozone layer is what is actually cfc chlor uh, chlorofluorocarbon okay um this actually it's uh, from okay this is nitrogen dioxide this is this actually does not um, attack the ozone layer directly okay it is the nitrogen monoxide that goes up there and do the damage then introduces this okay then we have um sulfur dioxide sulfur oxide this is so2 okay this actually causes um acid rain okay not directly with ozone layer then we have um co so the correct option here is cfc's chlorofluorocarbon they actually lead to the depletion of the ozone layer number 19 
which of the following properties is not peculiar to matter? Okay, the kinetic energy of particles increases from solid to gas. That is very correct, okay, um, due to the kind of bonding that exists. So there is freedom of particles, uh, the kinetic energy presence and the freedom of their movement. To say, okay, we have option B, random motion of particles increases from gas to solid. No, the random motion of particles, it decreases from gas to solid. C, orderliness of particles increases from gas to liquid. That is very correct, um, you know. Um, the guy, the gaseous state, the particles, they move randomly all about compared to the movement that we can observe in liquid. So it actually increases from gas to liquid, the orderliness, okay, not disorderliness movement. So we have option D, random motion of particles increases from liquid to gas. This is the solid index now. Their ability to move, collide with each other, collide with the walls of the container, that of, of course, that of course is very correct about um, um, matter. So the property that is not peculiar to matter is option B, random motion of particles increasing from gas to solid. It is on the reverse side from solid to gas. So option B is the correct option. Question 20. Uh, cast iron is used in the making of what? Cast iron is actually gotten from pig iron. A pig iron that is remelted, is cooled and molded. Okay, so um, talking about cast iron, we use cast iron to make things like um, cookers, stove, railings, lampposts, um, what have you. Okay, so the correct option here is option D, stoves and cookers. We've come to the end of this segment, but there are more videos to be released. All you just have to do so that you can get on top of your game is to hit the like button. Always click on the subscribe button and tap on bell notification so you can get alert as soon as we upload the next video clip for the next segment just for you.